So you want to make fidget toys at home. I got you. Don't wait for tomorrow. Squishy fans, it is Dr. Squish. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you decided to join me again today. It's exciting. Ah, uh, fidget toys are all anybody is talking about. If you don't have fidget toys, then what are you even doing with your life? Sometimes you just don't got them. And I understand, I got you. So today we're gonna talk about how to make fidget toys at home. That's right. I wanna show you how to make fidget toys with stuff you have around your house. Now, before anybody starts commenting, that thumbnail and title are clickbait. No, stop it. That's not true. Uh, the reason I say that is because you may get through some of these fidget tutorials tutorials today, and you may say, Dr. Squish, I don't have any of that stuff at home. Okay, you don't. Maybe you don't. But I did, I had it at my house. So everything that I'm making today, I had the stuff at my house. I literally, Scout's Honor, Scout's Honor? Scout's Honor? I don't know how the Scout's Honor, but I promise you, I didn't buy a single thing for anything that I did today. So maybe you don't have all this stuff at your house, but I had all of it at my house, and uh, so I'm gonna show you how to make fidget toys with stuff around Dr. Squish's house. Maybe you got stuff too. We're going to be making a fidget toy out of Legos. That's really, really cool. We are going to be making a fidget toy out of an EOS lip balm. That's super cool. And we're going to be making a fidget toy out of a sponge and a popsicle stick. What? I know, I can't believe it either. So if you're ready to make fidget toys out of stuff you got at home, let's go. First, you gotta find your Legos. I found this idea on TikTok from the user QTZ underscore DIYS. It's super cute and they had such good instructions, so we are gonna do the same. These are the Legos you need, or something similar-ish, it doesn't really matter, and a clicky pin. Basically, something that you can unscrew like this and get out the spring that makes it click in and out. That's all you're gonna need from the pin. Uh, so you can start putting together your Legos. I got that little white sticky uppy piece in the middle from like a ketchup bottle in a set, but I had a few others, so I think they come with some other things too. We're going to just start building it up so that you have three bricks high. We're making a square or a cube really, that is three bricks high. So however you do that in whatever color combinations you want is fine. I used pink, purple, and hot pink because that's what I found. We are gonna take a little square and we're gonna put an eyeball on it because I thought that was cute. Pop your spring down there on that little piece and honestly, we're done. You pop the cube on the spring and we're finished. All that's left is to decorate it however you want. Um, on TikTok, they decorated theirs with some flat pieces. I'm putting these on and look how cute it is with the little stuffs on top. I think it's so cute. And here it is. And you can change out that like middle piece for whatever you have. I don't really want the eye on there. I think I want a waffle cone. Uh, so let's pop it back in and look guys, it's really perfect. And it's such a simple concept, but it's really just a perfect fidget toy. You just click it in and out just like that and you can sit there and fidget. I really do love this idea. Okay, I think that that is a super easy and super fun fidget toy. I'm really glad that I found it uh, on TikTok. I'm really glad that I found these. And I think there's probably other ways you can make fidget toys with Legos, but this one was super cool to me and it's so simple. And it, it really does embody just fidget toy because all you do I sit here like this. Now I remember being like in school or even just now, if I have a clicky pin, I can just sit there and click it, click it, click. It's a fidget toy as well. So this is just kind of, it just kind of, you know, helps me out with that little clicky toy fidget. But it's also super cute. And if you're like me and just have Legos around your house, why are there so many Legos everywhere? I don't know. Uh, then this one is a easy to make. It didn't take that many Legos and it doesn't have to look like this. You can make it look, you know, blue or, turquoise or yellow. I don't care what color you make it. It's just super fun. And so I'm, I'm glad I found that. Glad I could share it. Next up, we're going to be doing, like we're throwing it back to like 2015 or something. We're making an EOS stress toy. Do you remember back in the day, there was like 
the million videos on YouTube of a uh, how to decorate your EOS. <laughs> I used to have people like, it's EOS. No, it's not. It's not. Nobody says that. I don't say it. But we're going to be taking a basic EOS lip balm and we're going to be making a squidgy stress toy. I'm super excited. Let's go see how to do it. This idea came from TikTok user underscore aesthetic underscore fidgets where they were making these super cute little squidgies, but I think they were making them with a 3D printer. And when I saw it, I was like, I think I could do that with an EOS. So I tried it out and it worked so well. Their idea was cute, but I thought I could do this one with stuff you have at home. So you're gonna need an EOS, an old one just you got laying around. This one's not actually EOS brand, but a Japanese brand I had. Uh, don't mind the disgust grunge. This thing's super old. Every EOS has a, a seam around it and if you have a really flat screwdriver like this one you can just put it in the seam and pop it out. Just be careful you're not stabbing your hand or something like that. They should pop right out and then you can use a butter knife or something and scrape out all the old disgusting <laughs> gross lip balm that's in there. Mine is old and gross so I'm just gonna throw it in the garbage but you could absolutely pop this in the microwave and then pour it into a clean container and reuse it. Now I scrubbed them all down with some dish soap and a sponge and got them all clean. And now we have to get this little wheel thing out of the center. I'm gonna use these little snips, but if you have some really good sharp scissors, that would get it out too. It's just plastic and you wanna go around and snip each little spoke until they're all out. But uh, what you're left with is kind of sharp and jagged. And so you, we're gonna file those down so that it doesn't um, cut the balloon or pop the balloon that we're gonna put inside. So I'm just gonna go around with a nail file. If you have some sandpaper, that would work too. Once we get it all smooth, we can put in our balloon. I'm using this small pink balloon. I thought it'd be really cute. And we wanna put about as much slime as would fit in the bottom. I think it's about a tablespoon. And I'm gonna use this Elmer's Goo Clear Slime because that's what I have. So I'm gonna measure out about a tablespoon, something that I think would fit in the bottom, just like that. And this is the hardest part. You have to get that slime down in the balloon. It is much easier if you have two people, but just do the best you can to shove it down in there and then tie the balloon up just like you would a regular balloon. And then we're gonna put it down in the bottom of the EOS and put the lid or the lip around it and pop it in. It should fit really tightly. And oh my gosh, it looks pretty much like a real EOS, like an actual lip balm, but it's just a little squishy, a little squishy fidget, just something for you to play with, to poke around on. Uh, you can keep it in your purse, your pocket. You could literally carry this to school or to work or anywhere and nobody would even know that you have a fidget toy. It's really kind of perfect and it's the perfect size. You pop the lid back on, keeps it from getting damaged, keeps it from getting dirty, and it's just a really cute cute little fidget toy. I mean, this one turned out super cute too. I love the pink balloon and you could put any kind of slime or, or texture or whatever in there. I think this is a super cute idea and uh, I'm really impressed with how well it works. And I actually made this one like a month ago and that balloon's still good. So these just ended up super cute and it's just kind of a really small, perfect little fidget. Okay, I think that is a super duper cute um, tutorial, a super duper cute stress toy. I think it's really good because this is one you can take with you. Oh, it looks like a real, why is it so bright in here? It looks like a real uh, like lip balm. Nobody would know. This is one of those you can sneak it into school. You can sneak it into class. You can sneak it into work. You can sneak it into your veterinarian's office. I don't care. And it's just so simple. Like the concept is so simple. This isn't a really complicated squishy toy. It's just, it's like a pocket squishy where you can just have something to kind of fiddle with uh, in your purse or your pocket or just walking along on the street if you just need something. You know, and it's really, it's really cool because this one is replaceable. It's not like once you do it and it breaks, you gotta do it all over again. You can pull this balloon, pop the balloon and slime out, make another slimy balloon. And you got, I mean, it's, it's really cool. Throw it in your bag. I love it. I think it's a great idea. Try it and let me know uh, what you think of it. The last fidget I'm gonna do, this may be the biggest stretch on do you have this at home? I had all of these things at home. You might not have all this stuff on hand. 
I don't know. <laughs> Again, it's not clickbait. I didn't buy any of this stuff for the video. I just had it. I went through my cabinets. I went through my drawers and, and my studio and everything, and I found all this stuff. Uh, but if you don't have this stuff, I get it. But I think everything in this can be actually purchased at like a dollar store. Like everything in there, I think, comes from, could be, I, I have found before. So, okay, we'll see. Stuff you can make at home. Let's make a crinkle fidget squishy. That's what I'm calling it. Let's go. So here is everything you'll need for this crinkle squishy. I have a sponge. Uh, I have this sponge. I just had it. I don't know why. Uh, but this is a cat toy. It's a Mylar ball cat toy. I think I got this one at Target. Uh, but I literally just had this sitting around because I bought it for my cats and they were scared of it. Um, so, you know, maybe you don't have this lying around, but, but they're not difficult to find. They even make them for babies in the dollar store and stuff like that. So they're pretty easy to find. You also need a glue gun. And I know you're going to say you don't use hot glue on squishies, but this is a fabric hot glue. It's specifically made for fabric, so it's perfect for the squishies. And you're going to need some slick paint or some fabric paint. First thing I'm going to do is take my squishy out of his little bag. And because I like this shape, I'm going to to do a popsicle. So the first thing we're going to do is cut it in half lengthwise this way with really sharp scissors. I'm just going to go all the way through the middle. Just keep on cutting with my scissors until I can open it up in half just like this. And then I'm going to cut out a space in the middle. Use your sharp scissors to kind of cut out a little bit of a shallow hollow place so that we can put the mylar foil right in the middle of the squishy. So just like this until I've got a nice little spot. So after I do that, I'm gonna be able to put the foil right in the center. So I gotta take this thing apart. It's all twisted together. But I just need a couple of sheets. I don't need the whole big foil toy. So just a couple of sheets are gonna be plenty enough crunch uh, for this popsicle. And I'm gonna stick them right in the middle, right in that little shallow place we cut out with our scissors. And I'm going to go around with my hot glue. I'm gonna make a little space at the end for the stick. So that's the only place that doesn't have hot glue. And then the rest, I'm gonna go around keeping really careful to glue and then hold until it sets and then glue and hold until it sets. I kind of go around about an inch at a time, gluing and then holding until it sets. So you gotta be a little patient, but it'll, it'll be worth it. Now we're going to paint it. I'm using this slick 3D dimensional paint for fabrics. Uh, because it is a sponge, it's going to soak it up. So you're going to need a few coats. So you see this first coat is kind of being soaked up. I'm gonna do it all over the front, sides, and the back, and then let it dry. Uh, this is my second coat. We're gonna go much thicker, trying to get as much paint on as, we, as you can. And then I'm gonna go in with my white paint and my sprinkles when it's still wet. This is gonna look like some drippy whipped cream or something on top. So I'm gonna actually use the bottle itself and draw out the drips the way that I want them to be. And after I've done that, then I'm gonna go in and fill in the whole thing. We want this to be thick. We want it to look like ice cream or whipped cream or something kind of melting down the top. Once you've got the front filled in the way you want it, you're gonna wanna do the same exact thing on the sides, uh, but you don't wanna do the back otherwise you won't be able to lay it down to dry. Then we are going to pop the sprinkles on. You can be really precise. You can just toss them on however you like to do it the best. Just make them look super duper cute. Put them all over the front and uh, the sides and there we go. Now it needs to sit for at least 24 hours to dry. Here it is after about 48 hours. You can see it's all dry and that paint, even though I ended up putting on three coats of the pink paint, it's still porous. If you don't want it to be like that, you'd have to do the pink paint just the way you did the white paint and it would have to dry for a while. But let's put in the popsicle stick. This is just a regular old popsicle that we literally ate and we're going to make sure it fits in the end where we left a space. Just put in some of the hot glue and shove it in holding it uh, until it sets. And after you've done that, you have a squishy and it's really, really cute. Oh my gosh, I really, really like it, you guys. It looks super cute. Now, uh, let's see if it crinkles. Okay, so that one is really fun. Uh, I do feel like if you wanted it to be not so porous that you could probably just paint the rest of it like I did the white part and it would be super shiny, but I love it. 
It's so crinkly. Now these types of crinkle squishies is something I actually learned to do off Japanese YouTube back around 2016, 2017, somewhere around there. A lot of people, like a lot of people were making these. I don't have a credit because I don't know who started it, but I, I used to see it on a bunch of people. I didn't make this up. And you could get these little crinkle toys at the dollar store. They would literally look like newspapers or magazines for your baby because they crinkled. And so the baby would like crinkle. And obviously I found um, the kitty toy, you know, but just basically that like mylar foil makes an awesome crinkle. Obviously this one couldn't go on the plane. It's very annoying. It's very loud. That's a good crinkle, but I think it's cute. That's a good thumbnail right there. I think it's really cute. I think that it turned out really good with the, the stick and uh, everything. Why? Oh, look at that, you guys. It's just the color. That ring light is really bright. So I, I really like the crinkle. Super good. I think it's cute. I think it's cool. I did have all this stuff on hand. I realize maybe you don't, but it is just a sponge and some paint and then some mylar foil that I got from a cat toy. I mean, I hope that you guys had fun watching me make a fidget toys out of things you can find around your house or actually things you could find around my house. If you make any of these, please tag me on Instagram or TikTok. I really want to see what you guys do and you never tag me. I want to see. Uh, I really, I would, I want to see somebody make this stuff and I think it's super cool. I hope that you're having a great day. I hope that you're having a great week even a great month. I'm going to go ahead and say it. And I hope that you come back and see me next time. I love hanging out with you guys and uh, I, I will keep trying to make awesome fidget toys. Bye-bye, squishy fans. I will see you on my next show.